Right now, incumbent Lucy McBath is projected to win the seventh district. She actually, she's actually the current representative for the sixth district, but she decided to switch districts after new political maps made the sixth district a Republican stronghold. So she appears to have defeated Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux in the seventh to move on. So we're going to have special live team coverage for you tonight. We're going to begin with Kristen Crowley at Congresswoman McBath's campaign party. Kristen. Well, good evening, Ron. It was a bit of a muted celebration tonight. Now, the congresswoman did come up with her hands waving. Music was playing. She thanked her voters and her husband and her family, her daughter. But we thought the big takeaway today was going to be that two Democratic colleagues turned competitors because of redistricting. That's not at all what the focus ended up being. It was because of that shooting in Texas that took the lives of multiple school children and a teacher. McBath said she came to give one speech tonight but was forced to make another. We are better than this. We have to be better than this. We cannot be the only nation where one party sits on their hands as children are forced to cover their faces in fear. An emotional night for McBath. Again, she lost her son to gun violence back in 2012. So this is a cause that is very near and dear to her, a cause that she told me she's going to continue to fight for when she heads back to Congress. Ron. Yeah, what happened in Texas on the hearts and minds of all of us here. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Rebecca Lindstrom is going to pick up our covers from Carolyn Bordeaux's camp. So Rebecca Bordeaux was actually the first Democrat to win the seat uh, since 1995. So what is her message to the rest of the Democratic Party tonight? Well, really, at this point in time, her message is this fight is not over yet. The party is over for tonight as far as those that are gathered, but they have just gone home to watch the results as they come in. They say that there are still too many votes to count to call this race. Now, Carolyn Bordeaux was here earlier this evening. She took about 20 minutes to come by, talk to supporters, talk with the media, and she quickly expressed frustration with the outside money that has poured into this race that has helped Lucy McBath win name recognition as well as pay for a flood of TV ads. And she said she knew pretty early on that she was going to have to approach her campaign differently. We really have been boots on the ground and turned out a really formidable field operation and field campaign. And I just want to say how extremely proud I am of this campaign and what we have done. Uh, it has been an extraordinary, valiant effort. Congresswoman Bordeaux says that she is ready for a runoff should it come to that.